It was God who gave me strength and kept me alive to witness this day. He was by me all through my trying period. So who am I not to forgive you? Amusa had two beautiful daughters, Nila and Lala. Lala the oldest and Nila the baby of the house. Amusa was a businesswoman while her husband was a staff of a small company in their village. Lala met Dumi when she was in high school. They both fell in love and they were all over. They were always together. Lala got pregnant by Dumi while she was preparing for her entrance exams into the university. Amusa and Balolala's parents were very angry and felt so disappointed that she had gotten pregnant when she was just about to go to the university. Dumi was a very kind-hearted, respectful and hard-working young man. He also worked as a junior staff in the same company as Lala's father. Dumi had traveled back to the city when Lala's parents found out that she was pregnant. Dumi could not be reached as his phone was stolen the day he returned to the city. He never knew Lala was pregnant, but he had promised her that he would return to take her with him to the city before he left. Lala's parents stopped her from writing the entrance exam and told her that there is not going to be university for her anymore. She cried and begged, but they told her it's her punishment for the shame she brought to the family and she will have to give birth to the child as abortion was a taboo in their place. Life became miserable for Lala. Her mother became a nightmare as she would beat her up at the slightest provocation. Amusa never mind the fact that Lala was pregnant. Nila, Lala's younger sister, wrote her entrance exams and gained admission into the university. Things became tougher for Lala when Nila gained admission into the university. The mother would often compare her with Nila, telling her that Nila had her blood and she's not sure if Lala was actually her daughter. She would say awful words and horrible words to Lala. Lala gave birth to a beautiful baby girl who became the source of her happiness in the horrible situation she found herself. Amusa never accepted Lala's baby to her because of the hatred she had developed for her own daughter. Her unforgiveness led to the hatred for Lala's baby. Boba Lola's father loved the baby. He often warned his wife about her behavior towards her own daughter, but Amusa never listened to him. And since he was always busy, he didn't really know what Lala was going through. Lala decided not to tell her dad about it. She said, I don't want to bring issues to my parents because of my own mistakes. So she kept everything her mom was doing to her to her own self and decided that she would fend for herself and take care of her child at all costs as long as it was a good thing. Whether Dunmi returns back or not, I will stand for myself and my child. I am now a mother. So she said, and one day I will go back to school and become a graduate as well and make my parents proud. Maybe by that time my mom would love me again, she said to herself. So she decided to hawk vegetables. She would put her little baby at her back and hawk vegetables in the morning. And by noon, she would have finished selling or a little remaining. So she had money to take care of herself and her baby. She stopped begging her mother for anything. When Nila graduated and came back home, Lala became a reproach to her mother and her sister. They often mocked and laughed at her. The mother never took care of Lala's daughter. She didn't give her food, but Lala was determined to help herself and her child. With the help of God, Lala was able to raise some money, and to her, Lala's baby started school. She was very beautiful like her mother and was also smart. Sutos came for Lala, but Lala's mother would often discourage them and tell them that she's a failure and a loser and she's good for nothing. In fact, she's an illiterate. She's not a good wife material that they should marry Nila instead of Lala. But they end up not marrying any of them at all. Lala kept struggling and was tired and frustrated about life. But her child was her only hope and source of encouragement. Sometimes she would think of committing suicide, but when she remembers how she has been treated by her own mother, 
the hatred for her child she would say to herself if i kill myself who would look at my child for that reason she refrained from taking her own life instead she kept pushing nila was very disrespectful and insulted lala at will and the mother supported her telling her that nila was a graduate but all she could do was to get pregnant and bring shame to the family name Nila had numerous boyfriends and kept late nights but the mother never cautioned her because she always brought gifts for her and gave her money from the outings. One morning as Lala was hawking her vegetables as usual, she saw a car that stopped right in front of her and when the man came out it was Dumi. She walked away but he pursued after her and started begging but she went straight home so he drove straight to her house and knelt down and pleaded that she would just listen to him. He said, I have been in prison all this while. I was arrested for what I didn't know. And I served five years for a crime I didn't commit. At the end of five years, the truth was revealed and they caught the culprit. And I was settled with a huge amount of money that if I had worked for five years, I wouldn't have been able to achieve. I was also given a mansion in the city and this car. I never stopped writing to you, but I guess you never saw them. I have come to marry you and take you with me to the city, just as I promised before leaving. She was so happy, and then immediately she started crying again. She remembered her pain, the insults, the humiliation, tears started pouring out of her eyes. And he asked her, what is the problem? Then she said, you have a child. He said, me? How? Then she narrated the story to him. He was happy that he is a father. While they were still talking, Tua returned from school. And Lala told her, meet your daddy. And he carried her and they were happy together. Amusa Lala's mom came back from the market and saw a car packed in her compound. And she was wondering whose car it was. When she got in and saw Dumi, she was surprised and speechless. She never believed that Dumi would ever return back for Lala. Later that night, Lala's dad came back from work and saw Dumi. He was very angry and wanted to drive him out of his house. But Lala pleaded with him that he would just hear him out. So Dumi explained and narrated the entire story to him. And he was surprised and then he forgave him. And Dumi asked for Lala's hand in marriage. The father immediately accepted. But the mother was speechless and ashamed of everything she had done to Lala and she couldn't even utter a word for shame. She knelt down and begged her husband, but he didn't understand what was happening. Then she turned and started begging Lala. Tears kept flowing from Lala's eyes, but Tua kept begging her mother to forgive her grandmother. Nila also apologized to Lala. Lala then explained everything she has been going through to her father. She told him that all he had seen was a small thing compared to what she has been going through. How she had to sell vegetables to take care of her own child. How the mom doesn't touch the child at all. She narrated how the mom has been maltreating her. And the father said to the woman, you are a wicked woman. It is only a witch that will maltreat our daughter to this extent irrespective of whatever mistake the child has done the mistake has been done she still remains your child why would you go this extent to maltreat your own daughter your first daughter but lala said it was god who gave me strength and kept me alive to witness this day he was by me all through my trying period so who am i not to forgive you so lala forgave her mother and also a disrespectful sister nila Nila also confessed that she was pregnant and that the man who impregnated her denied the pregnancy because he said she had too many boyfriends and he wasn't sure if the pregnancy was his. And so he denied the pregnancy and so she was carrying a fatherless child. The mother wept bitterly and regretted ever supporting Nila in all her wayward lifestyle and never for one day did she caution Nila. But she kept supporting her since she was bringing gifts and money to her. But it was too late. There was nothing she could do about it anymore. So she had to give birth to the child just like her sister. Dumi also promised to send Lala back to school as soon as they get to the city. Mr. Balo and Dumi started marriage preparations immediately. 
and the same week the marriage rights were paid in full bala became domin's wife and he took her and tour to the city seven years later lala graduated from the university she studied business administration and she owned her own business they lived happily ever after <laughs>